Monday. Today we have an engineering project, so you're going to be engineers, and it's called Strong as Newspaper. So is newspaper strong, Professor I? I think so, but I guess we're testing that today. We're going to test it. We're going to test how strong it is as a building foundation, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the word foundation. Let me see. I've got a little card over here with the word. I can if I can get hold of it. So this word is foundation, and it's the base on which a structure rests. The weight of the structure is distributed across the foundation. So I don't know if you've ever wondered about buildings. You know, we have massive buildings in Dallas. I'm gonna show you some pictures of a few of them that you might recognize. This is the AT&T Center, and notice that it's a dome shape, okay? Don't know what the foundation is. I don't know if it's oval. I think it might be. All right. This is called, it's, it's a really, plate. really unique looking building in downtown Dallas. Whoa, those shapes of those buildings are so and cool. And you see that it's got a triangular top. Um, the base, well, I'm not exactly sure what the shape of the base is because it's a really unusually shaped building. So many windows. It's all, it's all glass. Yeah. How is that possible? That it just doesn't fall apart or hail doesn't break those windows. Now this is called Reunion Tower. I don't know if any of you have ever gone up. You can go up an elevator. It's really, really high up. And the Reunion Tower, it used to spin. I don't know if it's doing it now, but it used to turn. Every so often it would make an entire uh, revolution or circle. So that's Reunion Tower. Can't really see what the foundation looks like because there's a tree in the way. But it's been there as long as I've been here. And that's been about almost 40 years. Okay, this is relatively new structure. This is called the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge Arc. I think yeah, it would be an arc. an arc. It's an arc and it's got, it must have a very strong foundation. It's cool looking. Whoa. That's so cool. And then this is a very famous building in Dallas. This is the book depository. And you can see the shape there is kind of rectangular. So the foundation is probably rectangular. So we're talking about how buildings are managed to stay up with all of that brick and glass and, and the height. Okay, so we're talking about newspaper and what you'll need today, you'll need six sheets of newspaper. This is one sheet. But you'll need six for our um, project today. You'll need masking tape. You'll need probably some kind of measurement, like a ruler. I always have my little handy dandy uh, tape measure just because it's here and I've got it. You'll need about 20 inches of string. And then we've already attached it to a little baggie. The baggie's gonna hold some weight. We're gonna see if our newspaper is strong. So I've already made three tubes for the foundation just to save some time. And I will show you how to roll up and make a tube while Miss Professor E is taping the foundation together. We have to hook it together. It's the base of our structure, okay? So if you'll do that, okay. Professor E, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this newspaper. We're starting at the corner, not on the side, but at the corner. They'll all be about the same height because newspaper sheets are the same. Now, if you didn't have newspaper, number one, maybe your neighbor has a newspaper, but Professor E had a good idea. If you did not have newspaper, another thin type of paper that's pretty big would be wrapping paper. You could cut six same shaped pieces. And um, you can see that this will be pretty long. So I'm rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, starting at one corner. And I'll be done in a second. Doesn't take very long once you get it started. Just roll it up. And then I'm just gonna tape it with my masking tape. 
so I've got a little thin tube. Easy peasy, and they're all about the same length. Um, so it's, it's now hooked together, and this is gonna be our structural part. Professor E is making the foundation. We want, we're gonna make a triangle shape here, so we're gonna attach the three points and then attach them to each point on our foundation. Okay. Okay. Hey, this feels really strong. It feels strong, but we are gonna test it out. All right, so remember, if you can't get hold of newspaper, maybe use wrapping paper because that's kind of wide and you can cut it in squares, um, probably about the size of what a sheet of newspaper would be. So you see it's a pretty big structure. It's still just paper. We're going to hang our baggie to the top to our pinnacle up here. It doesn't have any weight in it right now. Actually, we might even be able to tie it. Do you think we could? Ooh. Could we tie it, do you think? Let's see. I didn't think about that. We could tie it and then maybe just tape it to secure it because you know what it'll do? It'll slide down. So maybe, let me, let me give it a one knot and then we'll secure it with some tape. Okay, so there it is. We don't want it to fall down. Now it's just an empty bag and the weights that we have are some batteries and we're gonna plunk them in there and see if this foundation and this building can stand. And we're just gonna try to add some weight. So I'll hold the bag open, Professor E, and you can put in some weight. You wanna start with one. Yep, oh. it's holding it. You wanna take a guess of huh. how, many, how many batteries it gets? I say four before it collapses. I'll say six. Really? Okay. Okay. We have Here's, one. I'll put it on the other side, maybe. We'll balance, balance it, it two. Out. Three. We should have had two <laughs> strings in it. Four. It's not even bending at all. Five. <gasps> Six. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me, since it's a Ziploc, I could kind of close it up so we just have a little opening for the batteries and maybe they won't pop out of here. So that was how many? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we put any more in? Seven. It's not even bending. No. Look at how, I mean, it, it feels- It is very strong. It feels so strong. You wanna try it? This is our last, oh, oh. my goodness. <laughs> it won't stay, it won't stay sealed. <laughs> Here, we'll let's just see. leave those. Well, let's just try and put them in here. Let's see. I'm gonna hold it while you plunk them in and then we're gonna seal it. Hold on, okay, go ahead. I'm holding it so that's not, that's not showing you strength yet because I've got hold of it. But we're gonna close it up and see if it'll hold all, was it eight that we had? Yes. It is very heavy. Actually, this, this bag is really heavy. Whoa. Now let's close it up. We have a strong foundation here. How many more do you think we could put before this foundation and this structure are gonna just crash to the ground? It's not even bending or anything. I would say like four, maybe three or four more. Yeah, I, we're just out of batteries. We don't have any more. Now, you know, I just was thinking, okay, so this is a triangular structure, kind of like the pyramids or like a teepee. And the science behind it is that when engineers design buildings, the weight of all the material and the building gets distributed across the foundation and gives it strength. And that is really the simple explanation of a foundation and why you want a strong foundation. You really don't see buildings turned upside down where this is the foundation and this would be the top because it would not have enough strength to hold all the weight, it would be off balance. And so do you think if we had more newspaper, instead of making a triangle, a lot of buildings, the buildings that I saw were rectangular in shape or square in shape. And you could try a square foundation. Yeah. Or I don't know, I'm trying to think of circular buildings, like buildings that are in a circle. I really actually don't know. I think it'd be hard to make a circle. Yeah. But that, that um, reunion towers kind of, 
It's not circular, it's kind of odd shape, but it's sort of in the round. That's our engineering project for today, um, for our Mad Science Monday. And next week, we are gonna do another engineering project, a pretty simple one, and it has to do with the gingerbread man. Oh, mm -hmm. you know, he has, he has some trouble with a fox, has to get away <laughs> from the fox, and so we're gonna build him a bridge. So make sure and tune in next Monday and we'll see what structures would be good for bridge building, okay? So come back next Monday at 4.30. Hey, we'll see ya, bye.